three, two, zero. This video was shot last May when NASA launched its $830 million InSight mission with the goal of landing on Mars. Tomorrow, the world will be watching to see if the spacecraft can make it through the perilous seven minutes of terror and land on the surface of the red planet. Here to tell us about what we might learn from the mission is NASA's Stephen Clark, who heads the agency's exploration efforts. Welcome to Face the Nation. Thank you. What are the seven minutes of terror? <laughs> Well, the seven minutes of terror are the time it takes from when the actual probe enters the Mars atmosphere until it lands. And the reason it's called the seven minutes of terror is because it's very hard to land on Mars. In fact, only 40% of all landing attempts have been successful. Only 40% have actually made it. And the U.S. is still the only country that has done that. That's correct, yes. So why are we spending the money to do this? What exactly do you think is going to be learned? We're continuing to, to investigate Mars because Mars was formed at the same time as the Earth and the Moon. And the more we learn about our neighboring planets, it helps us learn how the Earth evolved. In fact, we know that Mars had water on the surface and had an atmosphere somewhat similar to Earth millions and millions of years ago. But for some reason, Mars developed differently and we were trying to find out why. This is uh, the InSight probe. This is not manned. How close are we to putting humans on Mars? Well, we continue to perfect landing techniques uh, using robotic landers on Mars. And certainly we're going to be using that technology to develop landers to return to the moon with humans first. And as we learn more on how to do that, we're going to then apply it to Mars for our first human exploration of Mars um, after we've established our presence on the moon in a more permanent uh, basis than we have in the past. As you know, with Apollo, we landed six times. Um, we're going to return this time and actually learn to live off the planet, learn, learn our lessons on the moon, which is a lot closer than Mars. And then when we're ready, we will take humans to Mars, which is a much longer journey. How, much, how many years out are we from that? Oh, uh, we're looking at, uh, for the moon, we'd like to return humans in the late 2020s. Um, certainly, we will continue to work through our technology development and, and see how long that takes. Uh, and we're looking at re uh, taking humans to Mars sometime in the 2030s. The 2030s. 2030s. So NASA is one of the agencies that signed off on this climate report that came out last week. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a lot of controversy around it, some questions about politics, but you're just, you're a scientist. You look at data. How do Americans understand this warning? Well, NASA is one of 13 agencies that uh, contributes to that climate uh, report. And so we continue to acquire data with all of our uh, Earth orbiting satellites. And we provide that data to a wide range of researchers who develop their findings and so forth like that. And, We've seen through these climate reports that the climate is changing. And it's good that we know how it's changing so that we can better prepare for those uh, more, what I'd call, severe changes that we've seen through the weather. Uh, but we'll continue to provide uh, rich data for the researchers to come up with their findings, which will then help uh, government, really, globally, prepare for various um, weather scenarios and, and how the climate continues to change. And does learning more about these other planets, like Mars, help in any way solve the challenges that you're seeing on this planet? It's, it certainly could, um, and that's why we continue to explore. Um, as we understand better how these worlds formed and why they went through the various evolutions like they did, um, it can unlock some of the, the mysteries that we have here on Earth that we could potentially apply here and, and better prepare, certainly. So understanding how Mars was formed could potentially help us understand how to do what here on Earth? Well, as we learn more about why the atmosphere changed and how it thinned with Mars, and if we can better understand the processes that caused that, then if we can apply that to Earth and see if there are any similarities, then we may be able to uh, determine ways to, to uh, maybe even help prevent those things from happening. It's fascinating. It is. And we'll be watching tomorrow the landing around 3 p.m. Eastern. 3 p.m. Eastern. 12 p.m. Pacific. We will be watching. Okay. Good luck with those seven minutes of terror. Uh, thank you. We will be right back.